Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we go again. My name's Dan, and in this video, we're going to be making a fun JDM style car sticker featuring a certain Japanese monster who shall remain nameless, but I'm sure you know who I was going for. Um, the whole thing's time lapse because uh, I'm trying to keep the video short. It's not really a it is a how to, but it's, it's more of a my process of how to rather than uh, an instructional. But um, I'm sure you'll you'll get something out of it anyway. So uh, yeah, sketched up the image there with pencil on a bit of a yellow card, uh, and I'm just blasting away with um, the sharpie because I, I want the I don't want to sketch. Uh, I've, I've I've often taken photographs of sketches and put them into Inkscape and when you zoom in it can be a bit ambiguous with what line you've you want to use so I thought if we use a sharpie I can't go wrong uh, the only thing I didn't do is the the lettering because I was going to use a font in Inkscape so I'm just using a a, a guide there to straighten up because sometimes when you take a picture with the, the phone it can be skewed a little bit this is going to be the backing piece of vinyl um, eventually it's going to be it'll form the, the border of the outside of the sticker I'm just putting a curve on there because as I've said before you don't want um, sharp edges if you put it on a car because the weather gets gets under um, the corners and the um, when you're washing the car sometimes you can you can pick up the edge so if you put a radius on there it just helps it stick and live a bit longer on the car or wherever you want to put it so I've just duplicated that backing piece and changed the colour so I can see it. Uh, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of shrink it down to give myself myself uh, a nice red outline. And then we're gonna punch the green through the red, and that will leave us with a, a nice border. There we go. And then I'm just going to move that and move that over to one side for later on. Uh, and now I'm going to use the uh, text tool to create some lettering. It's uh, Hamish, I believe I used. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to want to use it. Where to find it? It's kind of a got that kind of um, cartoony kind of script look to it. Uh, and I've used a path there. I drew a path and you can go into text, um, the text drop down and you can attach the uh, text to the path so it will follow the path. That's probably worth another another video on its own. This is actually really easy to do, it's very useful. Okay so the text is in place and now I'm just using the Bezier pen tool uh, and I'm zipping around the, the zigzag, so the speech bubble. Just straight lines, nice and easy. A bit time consuming, a bit boring, but um, obviously necessary. And it's just a case of figuring out the, the line weight for the stroke. I want to do each section of this um, illustration separately to begin with. Um, you could easily do it all in one go with the pen tool, but if you want to make changes later on it, or rearrange anything, it's, it's it's harder work. So if you put in a bit of extra work at the beginning, you can um, play around with it later on. So the next section is the, the sunburst. Fairly straightforward, just again with the pen tool. Making minor adjustments as you go. And this is where it's a little bit of extra work because I've got to follow the lines I've already done in in the uh, with the speech bubble, and you've got to kind of overlap it. You've got to kind of give yourself enough room to when you create the vinyl. Um, so when you when you cut the vinyl, it, there's an overlap and you don't get anything uh, showing through from behind. If it was just a digital image. Uh, you wouldn't have to worry at all really about that as, as long as it looked right on the screen your job's done that's the red section done uh, I started going around the hand on this it was a bit complicated uh, I didn't um, film the whole thing I made a few 
changes to the design i was going to do an outline like it, uh, like it's shown on the screen now but i actually i did it as a silhouette uh, which took a bit of took a bit of doing so i've just returned back to the the frame and knocked out the nodes from the inside so i can create the, the white backing that'll be the base vinyl and this is what i was talking about you've you've um because it's all separate i can now adjust this so that the nostrils of the monster were just into the white i wanted the eyes the mouth and the nostril to be in the red right so i've got the the vinyl cut out i've actually managed to use uh offcuts from another project which is always a good thing to aim for and i'll just get these cut out real quick get rid of the black oh these scissors I actually I found these in the street. They're a bit worse for wear, uh, but they, they they cut really nice. They're really good to work with. So nice nice free gadget for me. I'll give them a little polish with some metal polish. They're a bit they were really really tay, and they've obviously they've always slid down the road. They're all like road rashed. But um, yeah, the blades, thankfully, are in really good order. That's the white. It's the red. Let's just get these weeded, weeded up quick. This is actually my third go at, uh, at this sticker there was um there was a couple of early attempts which didn't quite didn't quite work out i did did this one made it a little bit too small and i wasn't happy with it i actually hand drew the um lettering and that created hundreds and hundreds of nodes when i got it on inkscape so i'll scrap that idea because it's um that's not going to work and then uh, i did another one the next day but it wasn't as it was missing something. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, so I sat and pondered and realised um, I got the colouring wrong, but uh, and a few other things. So I'm hoping this one is going to be the one we want. Let me just get it up on the screen. Uh, so I want to take out that guy there. which means everything else should make sense. This matte red really cuts nice. I should get some matte black. Well, matte everything actually. Nice. Now the black one's gonna be a bit tricky because there's quite a lot going on with the black. Let's get the outer bit off first. And the next bit. And the inner bit. Okay, so I think that's uh, got all that out. That's actually went oh, no, one little bit, one little bit. Good job, I've got good lighting. Uh, yeah, that was okay actually. It's a bit fiddly, but it's um, it's cut really nice. I cleaned the blade on the uh, the cutter before I set off, so um, it's done a pretty good job. So easy bit now. Easy bit now. <laughs> oh no, can't get this off. There we go.
Right, so that's going to fall from the back piece. I've just got to figure this out. It's always a bit tricky on the first first go through. Uh, I need, I think I need that to sit on top of that, and then those two to sit on top of that. I think that's the way we're going to go. I even managed to save some transfer tape from another project, so I can get to even reuse that. This is the moment of truth. Let's see how accurate my pen, Bezier pen tool work was. Because there's going to be any errors, and they're going to show up about now. And just off camera to my right, I've got a got this screen grab of it open. Hang on, the camera's in the way. Just bear with, bear with. It's gone very quiet. The focus, the concentration is immense. I think I've nailed it. Right, I'm coming back in. Yeah, the camera, <coughs> the camera's just uh, causing me a problem there, but I thought rather than rush it, I'll try and do it on, on camera and make a mess of it, make a fool of myself. I'll do it off camera and get it right. I've got an air bubble there, but that's actually it's in the transfer tape, not the vinyl. So that's that'll come off when you there we go. I think I've got him anyway. Okay, uh what's next? Let's take this off there. Might have to do the same thing again because you know huh. So I hope this has uh, shown you something um, of how I make the stickers up and other projects. Uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know. And if you've made it this far, I don't feel too cheeky asking for a like and a subscribe. Just get this trimmed up. Yeah, that's better. So I'm trying to get at least one video out a week, um, a weekend one and a midweek one, but. Uh, it just depends how things go.
this one which should have been a midweek one but because I had to redesign it a couple of times it's ended up being the weekend one There we go. Get off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.